Chances are, you know Mason Gooding best from his role in the two latest Scream films where he plays Chad Meeks Martin. This young actor is no doubt going places and if you hadn't put two and two together yet based on his last name, he also has a pretty famous father, Cuba Gooding Jr. 26 year old is making a name for himself all on his own though and it was something else, not his famous family, that gave him an upper hand in landing his big role in Scream. It actually had to do with a college paper he wrote. Today we'll tell you that interesting story, talk about Mason Gooding's early life and much more here for you on Famous Life. Mason Gooding was born November 14, 1996 in Los Angeles, California to parents Sarah and Cuba Gooding Jr. And he's the eldest of three children. His father is of course a famous actor and his paternal grandfather Cuba Gooding Sr. was also in the entertainment industry, being the former lead singer of the R&B band The Main Ingredients. Even Mason's uncle Omar Gooding is an actor. Mason attended Windward High School in California where he also played varsity football for four years and graduated in 2015. During high school, his biggest interests were football and theater, and he already knew he loved acting. Growing up surrounded by the entertainment industry, it's no wonder that Mason was destined to appear on our screens at some point and showcase his talent and charm. However, becoming an actor hasn't always been the most obvious career choice for him, and while his father Cuba supported him becoming an actor, he had to wait until he was 18 to pursue acting professionally. Mason recalls about knowing he wanted to act. It's interesting because though my father is obviously a big advocate for the arts, it didn't really strike me as a viable option until later in life. He wanted to begin acting after his high school graduation, but decided to attend college after visiting his father on set in New York. Mason enrolled in New York University Tisch School of the Arts to study dramatic writing and psychology. Mason was studying at university when he realized that acting wasn't only his true passion, but also a career he wanted to pursue. He said, when you have someone like my dad who has put in the work and laid such a strong foundation for young actors today, it's really inspiring and only works to push me to want to be better every day. He in tandem with my lovely mother were super supportive in everything I did, specifically artistically. So Mason left school during his junior year after he booked a few gigs and got an agent in order to pursue acting full time. However, his mom initially had a hard time accepting the change due to her experiences with his father. Mason still says he does want to finish his degree at some point. Although the actor was involved in a bunch of student films while he was still in college, his first paid acting job he booked in 2017 was on the HBO TV series Ballers alongside Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Mason described this experience as nerve wracking since he didn't know what set life was like at the time. He said in an interview, I'll never forget my first day. It was supposed to be a surfing scene and I showed up at 5 a.m. I was all ready to go and I guess the end up using the stunt double the entire time because I didn't leave my trailer until 7 p.m. But it's all part of it. You live and learn. Then in 2018, Mason booked his first major role in Book Smart, directed by Olivia Wilde, which was her directorial debut. When he was cast in the movie opposite Beanie Feldstein and Caitlin Deaver, Mason learned everything that he could about the world of acting and being on set. He continued, the main thing I took away from that experience is how immensely talented the industry is in wealth of female actresses, directors, and everyone behind the camera. If you create and foster a sense of community on set, if you harbor young talent and listen to your cast and crew make, it makes a much more inclusive and entertaining film. In Booksmart, I feel like every character in every part of the movie felt true and cared for. Next up in 2019, Mason was cast as Andrew in the TV show Love, Victor, the spinoff of the 2018 movie Love, Simon. Even though Mason played football in high school, he had to learn how to play basketball for this role. He further appeared in the Netflix Christmas film Let It Snow later that year, and in 2020, he appeared in the sitcom Everything's Gonna Be Okay. Also in 2020, Mason was cast as Chad Meeks Martin in the fifth Scream film, which has proven to be his most famous role to date, and it was released in January 2022. In terms of how he landed the role, before Mason left NYU in 2018 to pursue acting full-time, he wrote a six-page paper arguing that one Hollywood property that was particularly deserving of a reboot was none other than Wes Craven's Scream. A few years later, the actor found himself in a general meeting with directing duo Matt Bettinelli olpin and Tyler Gillett, who were developing the new take on the genre-defining Scream franchise from 25 years prior. After a two-hour conversation, Mason mentioned his paper, and was a little embarrassed when the filmmakers asked to read it. He said, I sent it to them and heard nothing for like two weeks. Then 
he got a call from his agents. Rather than going through screen tests and callbacks, he got a direct offer for Scream 5. Mason said he muted himself and he screamed. In late 2020, Mason co-starred alongside Kesha and Chloe Bailey in the scripted podcast Electric Easy, a musical neo-noir science fiction show set in a futuristic Los Angeles in which humans struggle to coexist with robots known as electrics. Mason reprised his role of Chad in the film Scream 6, which came out in March 2020 to critical acclaim. In Scream 6, his character Chad coins the term The Core Four for the friend group who have moved to New York after surviving the Ghost Face Massacre in the previous film. But The Core Four was almost The Core Three, given that the original plan was for Gooding's character to die in the fifth Scream movie. Chad said, I was kind of bait and switched. The script that I got the first time around said I died. I don't think you necessarily go into a Scream movie expecting to live every time. I just kind of accepted my fate. It wasn't until we began filming Scream 5 that I was told I was going to survive and make it to the next one. As for what's next for Mason Gooding, while he might be busy in the next Scream film, whenever that comes, he also says he would like to one day return to NYU to complete his degree in dramatic writing. He'd also like to pursue big genre roles that can inspire black children around the globe. I would love to be in a Marvel movie, he says, who remembers seeing Black Panther and being super inspired. We'll just have to wait and see what's next for the actor. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to Famous Life and leave a comment for who you'd like us to feature next.